What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Leaf Green walkthrough. Okay, so here we go with another legendary uh, capturing and all that stuff, because yeah, in our last episode I was frustrated that Zapdos was being a uh, D-I-C-K, yes, a big fat one. And uh, now we're going to be going to go capture Articuno. Now, I did modify my team just a little bit for this occasion because, yes, Articuno is a big fat dick when it comes to trying to capture that Pokemon. It is an ice type and a flying type, so I came with a little bit of muscle right here. So as you can see, I got myself my Hydra, Nessie, and of course I got Zapdos right here because, hey, level 50, Thunderbolt or Thunder Wave, it's going to help me out in the long run right there. You know, four beefy Pokemon that will actually help me and all that stuff. So, hopefully uh, it will go well, better than what happened with uh, with uh, with Zapdos right there. At least we can use them. At least we can actually use them, uh, or actually, uh, actually use them uh, in a proper way, I guess. I don't even know. So, here we go. Route, now, ni route 19. And I haven't been here yet, guys. I haven't. So, we're going to be seeing quite a few battles. You're going to be hearing me talk about a few things. It's whatever. I don't know. It is what it is. It's whatever. So here we go. Swimmer Richard coming out, and he's going to be coming with his uh, his tentacool. It's not so cool right now. Alrighty, so let's go. Thunderbolt right here for the win. Oh, yes. So anywho, guys. Um, yeah, you guys already noticed that, uh, or if you guys have caught the message right here on YouTube of when Pokemon Platinum will be coming out, you guys are in luck, but if you guys haven't, then, well, here it is, guys. Pokemon Platinum, the final episodes will be coming out February 17th. Uh, that will be covering pretty much every single, or the last few episodes of Pokemon Platinum. Uh, we've already completed the whole, uh, the whole, uh, uh, the whole, uh, main adventure and whatnot. And, uh, now it is time to just do the, uh, the, the secondary adventure, which is, you know, the rest of Team Plastic, or Team Galactic and all that stuff. Uh, let's see, the other island that we can, whatever, you know, the other island that you can find, uh, Pokemon Chainers, the whatever. I, you know, it, it's been a while since I've played it, guys, so I just want to get that walkthrough done before March, and then after that, get, get started with Pokemon Black. Now, for Pokemon Black, I'm a little excited about this, because I am actually stocking up on episodes on that. I will be doing one big-ass, uh, you know, recording session. I'm going to try and get at least, eh, I kind of want to get at least 25 episodes done, just like I'm doing right here with Pokemon Leaf Green. Just pop out with it. That way, that way you guys can have, like, a lot of material to see. And, uh, you know, you know, th that way we can be, like, what, a quarter of the way done with Pokemon Leaf Green, or, no, uh, Pokemon, uh, Pokemon Black. You guys already know. Like you guys already know, I've already done Pokemon Black before, two times, three times, two, three times. Not very successful. Not a lot of effort into it. This is when I was Draven XC711, and uh, well, this time it's gonna be, be it's gonna be for reals. I actually played it quite a few times off screen, so I kind of have the lay of the land of what to do. Believe it or not, guys, uh, after Pokemon Black. I kind of want to say after Pokemon Black, I I kind of just, uh, you know, faded away from Pokemon games. Well, except for Pokemon X and Y. Those were pretty good right there, but then, let's see, just a few, like a month ago, you guys already uh, heard me talk about how I finished up uh, Pokemon, uh, what was it, Sun and Moon? So I haven't played Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, so you guys, you, you guys can get a... It, actually can get the you know can get an idea like how much Pokemon I've, I've been playing I've been playing mostly the the old school games and I really don't mind because you know I'm more of an old school gamer and uh, some of you guys seem to like that so it is what it is guys and hopefully I can get it done I can get Pokemon Black done um, hopefully before the summer I want to get that done that way we can get into the uh, 3DS games really excited about that one now a lot of you guys are asking me will I be doing another uh, remake uh, another remake game and all that stuff since, you know, Pokemon Leaf Green is being uh, done so quickly. Yes, I will, and it will be Pokemon Omega Ruby Alpha Zapphire. Now, I remember doing 25 episodes of it. Trust me, I know, because I just found my my old Pinterest, and, uh, yeah. Did 25 episodes, and then I quit. Just like every single other old walkthroughs that I've had. And, uh... 
Well, the reason I'm coming out with Pokemon uh, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire after Leaf Green is because it's a little bit quicker for me. I know everything about it. Uh, it's not that hard for me to actually get done and all that stuff. You know, it's a very quick game that I, I believe I can get done in a, in, 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 in a jiffy, too. Now, why am I skipping Soul Silver? Uh, it's very simple, guys. Three uh, or Nintendo DS games in general, they take a lot, and I mean a lot of effort, just to get done. As you probably already noticed, Pokemon Platinum coming out, you know, February 7th <laughs> or 17th, I should say. It's a lot of effort. I can't just do live com and all that stuff. It's just you know you have to do you have to do the recording, you have to do the 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 narrating, all separate. It takes a lot of effort, guys. Trust me. It's it's way too much. So that is the reason, and uh, hopefully we can see Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire pretty soon here. Now, as you can see, Aaliyah gaining another level right here and uh, looking like a pimp. I'm gonna just continue battling her. You know, it's gonna be strong and all that stuff. Now, um, for Pokemon Black, yes, for Pokemon Black. Um, if you guys want to choose my next starter Pokemon, go right ahead, comment on any single video that I've mentioned Pokemon Black, like this one right here. That way I can get the poll started. I've already have an idea what kind of a Pokemon you guys want. It's just, you know, the polls remain open and all that. Uh, so yeah, comment down below. Let me know what, what Pokemon you want on, on my, uh, Pokemon team for Pokemon Black. That way we can, uh, you know, get that part out of the way and then, uh, get Pokemon Black over and done with, I guess. Now, I, I'm not going to be battling everybody here. I'm going to do that off screen right here. I'm going to just go to straight to Route 20 and avoid most of these guys because, uh, you know, Leah only has so many PPs right here. So, off screen, we'll be battling everybody right there. Not that important. And uh, let's see what this guy is. Strong trainers and water Pokemon are common sights in these parts. They say Misty of the Cerulean uh, Gym trains here. Now, that will go into your uh, fame checker. And, uh, yeah. It'll go into your fame checker for any kind of rumors of anything. So here we are in the Seafoam Islands, and uh, one thing that you need, or two things that you need, are Pokemon that know Surf and that know Strength, because it's going to be needed around this area. Now, I already have the Repel going on, so as you can see, there's going to be a few boulders lying around right here. Move them, that way you can fix up the tides, and luckily for me, I already taught some of my Pokemon the moves. I oh wow, I didn't know... Tank had that. Wow. Completely forgot. Oh, damn. Alright, so here we go. There we go. Downstairs. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to, you know, fix up the tides. And then try and capture Articuno. As many of you guys already know, Articuno is like my worst enemy. I, I, I hate capturing legendary Pokemon, guys. I really do. Ugh. Don't, I do not like. It's, it, it, you know, doing it for a walkthrough. That's, you know... It's very, very annoying. But doing it for, you know, a regular game and all that stuff, you know, it's it's okay because at least people don't get to see your frustrations and all that stuff. So there we go. You're going downstairs. And uh, there's a boulder right there. So we have to go back to the other side right here. Now, try not to go into the holes right there, guys, because uh, sometimes it might not take you to where you need to be. Uh, but in this part right here, it will take you. That way you can actually get to this boulder right here. So I'm just gonna go right there, press this, and uh, there are quite a few items that you can find here, including Pokemon. Seal is one of the Pokemon you can find, uh, Krabby, uh, Psyd no, you can't capture a Psyduck here in Leaf Green, but in Fire Red, yes you can. I'm pretty sure every everybody knows what kind of Pokemon I wanted, or I initially wanted for the, for the walkthrough. Um, let's see, I think I should go up there first. So let's go right here, and uh... No, we've already been here, so let's go right back down there and take care of the other business right now. Alrighty, so let's see. Nothing right there, and uh, oh, look at that boulder! And uh, repels a uh, effect still lingering, so let's go ahead and use that again. And press this little bastard to this area right here. Now, these boulders are going to be going straight to the uh, straight to some streams right here. Now, we have to get to that area. So I'm gonna have to go back upstairs and uh, find that area. So let's see, could be, could be right here somewhere, or hold on, right here. Nope. Uh, 
shoot. Okay, so I could... Pr oh, damn it! Okay, so I screwed up. I messed up. So as you can see, it leads us to a stream, to a place to nowhere, and, uh... Well, we can capture Pokemon right now, and, uh... Or, we can go capture Articuno, but as you can see, the streams right here are looking very, very vicious, so... What we need to do is we need to calm those streams down, and we have to go to this floor right here to do that. So, let's go right ahead and take care of this business right here, so... Let's see... I'm gonna press that... And, uh... Okay, so let me... Go ahead and... I got a text message, so that's why I'm, like, sending some distance. So, press that little bastard right there, that's one... And, uh... Let's see... I'm gonna go down right here, press there... There we go, and... Oh wow, nearly fell into that hole right there. So there's two. So now you'll be able to capture Articuno. But my deal is this, they have to get the other streams, especially the one down there. Uh, that will actually lead us to the... That will actually lead us to get out of... Well, get out of this place safely. So what we're going to do is go up here. Get this item, and uh, it's a big pearl where you can actually buy some stuff with that. And, uh, let's see. Oh, look at that. Found ourselves a water stone, which you can easily buy over at the salad on the department store, which is always good. And, uh, let's see. How do I get to that area? I always seem to just, like, you know, get the hill. N not really care much. Let's see. We've already been here. We have to get there, so. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I think I know where it's at. Right here. And uh, we're gonna have to go here. Look at that. Look at that. Draven, you're smart. You are a smart, smart man. So go down this hole right here. And uh, look at that. There's the boulder that we need to move. Huh, I think we. Yeah, we can go down in that hole right there, which we're gonna put the boulder in. Or we can go down the stairs, and it'll take us right here. Look at that. Huh. Am I in the right direction? Yes, yes I am. So we, I think we got moved up here somewhere. Okay, so the repel has worn off. So let's go right ahead and use this repel again. Again, guys, make sure to bring a lot of uh, super repels. Okay, so this, we can't go through there. So now, where are we going? Okay, so I think we can capture Articuno now. Okay, we found another Ultra Ball, which we needed. And, uh, okay, so... Yeah, you know what? I might as well capture Articuno now that now that everything's cleared. Alrighty. Okay. Oh god. I've been dreading this for quite some time. Alrighty guys. You know the drill. Save your game because there's only one of a kind. In every single part right here, yeah, there's only one Pokemon of a kind. So there it is, my Pokemon is or my game is saved. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to take care of uh, Articuno with I'm gonna I'm gonna fight fire with fire, <laughs> going with Zapdos. So here we go, guys. Save game. Let's do this. Gaio. Alrighty, bring it. Articuno. All right. So let's go right ahead and use that Thunder Wave. Of course, Zapdos is a little bit faster, and this gives us a little bit of an advantage right now. Now, one thing that we need to worry about is that Mist attack. Luckily for us, we do have a Pokemon that's faster. The only thing is, Mist right here will prevent any kind of a, any kind of a, a, a status changes, which, luckily for us, we already took care of. So there it is. Yeah, you can't move, dickhead Pokemon. So here we go, Drill Pack. So I feel the power. So this is what it feels like to have true power. Look at that, guys. <laughs> oh, man. And do I sound evil doing that? Alrighty, so... This guy is paralyzed. Let's go right ahead and try and capture it. As you can see, I got myself a buttload of Ultra Balls just because of... Just because of these Pokemon right here. It's gonna take me a while to just try and capture them. And as you can see, still paralyzed, can't move, the mist has worn off. But we're gonna try and capture this guy some more. Now, one of the things that we have to worry about too is its Ice Beam attack. It is super effective against the Zapdos right here. And uh, hopefully it doesn't use it on me just yet. Ah, oh, crud. Come on. Don't be a dick. Here we go. Ultra Ball. Let's get it. Let's get it. Come on. Oh, if only they invented uh, 
crud. There it is, Ice Beam. If only they invented, uh, uh, what was it, timer balls before this guy. As you can see, oh man, super effective. Alrighty. Let's go. Oh god, come on! Don't be like that. So as you can see, Articuno is coming back with the vengeance using its Ice Beam on that Zapdos. But hey, guess what? Zapdos has served its purpose. And uh, we're going to be going with a Pokemon that it can affect. Let's bring out our good old buddy Nessie right here. That's right. You can't destroy him that quickly because it's an Ice type Pokemon too. Yeah, buddy. There we go. Here we go. Stay in there. God dang it. Ugh, mind reader. So it won't miss anything. Okay. Oh, God. Again, guys, this is the reason to why I I choose to get multiple Master Balls and try and capture these Pokemon. Because it, it's just so freaking hard to capture. Like, in Generation 1 through 3, maybe even 4, yeah. Very, very hard to capture, and it, it's just frustrating, especially when I'm trying to do a walkthrough. This is why you guys see me, you know, hack some games just to capture them for the purposes of trying to capture them. Yeah. Annoyed! And, uh, well, come on, stay in there. See, Articuno happens to be the worst one of them all. Actually, any Ice-type Pokemon is the worst one of them all for me because they just don't stay put. Come on, let's go. Stay in there, Articuno, you dick. Come on. Oh, God. Okay, so there's an agility right there. Oh, God. It's still faster than me. Even if it tries to use an Ice Beam attack, it's not going to work. Now, you also have to make sure to prevent these guys from using, uh, what was it, Struggle? Because it, it is a move that can actually, uh, for, well, it, it has a recoil effect. And uh, if, you have your if you have the legendary Pokemon at this point, like right now, yeah, you don't want that to happen. So here we go, Ice Beam on me. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Not super effective. There we go. Come on. Stay in the ball! God damn it. <sighs> you gotta love you gotta love this Pokemon, you really do. Okay, so let's go Ultra Ball again. Come on. Stay in the ball. Damn it. Alrighty. You can't move. A whole Pokemon. So here we go. Ultra Ball, get in there, stay in there, come on! Stay in the ball. God dang it. Eh, uh, well, Articuno's being a dick. Of course, his speed won't go up any higher, so let's go right ahead and just take care of this business right now. Come on! Stay in the ball. Yep, it's gonna be a while before you even capture this Pokemon right now. Now, a question that I had in the last episode, guys, was in Generation 1, when you try to capture a legendary bird Pokemon, there was that there was that part where you missed trying to capture it. You know what I mean? Where you threw a Pokeball and you miss. Now, if you guys can answer that, that'd be nice. But why is that? Comment down below, guys. Why is it that you missed every single time and then with just a Pokeball you can capture it? I want to know. That way, if you know, if ever I try doing this again, which is highly unlikely, then uh, yeah. I will, uh, you know, save, save myself some time from, you know, wasting a lot of Ultra Balls or a lot of money. Or prevent me from using a Master Ball or anything like that. Alrighty, so here we go, another Ultra Ball. Let's see, 26, that's 18 Pokeballs? What the f- Oh my god, come on! Ugh. Oh my god. Oh my god, come on. Come on. Articuno, don't be a dick, man. Stay in the ball. God dang it. Yeah. I might just have to hit it one more time, but I don't want to risk it because uh, we're doing so well. This is the first take. Literally the first take, guys. Come on. Stay in the ball. Ah, damn it. Uh, God damn you, Articuno, you dick. Okay. Come on. Come on. Stay in the ball. Uh, you suck. Okay, well, he's trying to use the move again. Come on. Let's go. Stay in the ball. Stay in the... Ah, uh, damn it. Okay, so it's using its mind reader attack. It's not like it's, not like it's gonna miss. It's just... Oh, God. Freaking Articuno. Uh, there we go. 
God dang it! You see, getting frustrated. Getting really, really frustrated. Come on! Stay in the friggin' ball. Stay in the friggin' ball. Come on! Ah, oh, God. So there we go, another mind reader. And, uh, let's see. We got 19 Ultra Balls. That is a. <laughs> yeah. There we go. God damn it, old. Oh, God damn it. Okay. Got to love it. You got to love it. You really do. You have to love it. Come on. Come on. Stay in the ball. Okay. Well. Anywho, guys, it's still paralyzed. And, uh, well, me? Me? I'm just, you know, I'm chilling. Chilling like the villain. Throwing Ultra Balls at the guy. Come on. I'm well prepared this time. Really am. Oh, my God. I wonder how it's going to be like when we're going up against Moltres. Oh, God. Come on. Stay in there. Stay in there. God dang it! Uh. Oh, Articuno, you are a, a slut. You are a slit. A huge slit. There we go. Come on. Oh, God. Okay. So how many Ultra Balls do I have now? I don't know. Let's see. 14. Oh, jeez. 30 Ultra Balls. God dang. Yep. It's not going down. It is not going down. You are paralyzed, you a-hole Pokemon. Come on! Stay in the ball. Now, I could just capture the, the roaming Pokemon with uh, Earthquake. If you guys don't remember, I did capture an Earthquake with an Arena Tramp effect. That pretty much means that, you know, I don't really need a Master Ball to capture it, so... You know, I could do that. I could, but not. YES! <laughs> I was contemplating it. I really was, guys. <laughs> I'm flipping you off, Articuno. Suck it. Alrighty. So there you go, guys. Articuno, the freeze Pokemon, a legendary bird that is said to appear to doom people who are lost in icy mountains. Okay, alrighty. Give a nickname to this Pokemon? Fuck no. Alrighty, so you are placed in box number two. Okay, so we fulfilled our little uh, thing right here. And this, literally, guys, is the first try. So far better prepared right here. If you guys want to try and uh, duplicate the way I did it, then go right ahead. Um, so now, the thing is, I have to get out of here. And, uh, let's see, I've already been here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, oh, okay, so there's an item right here that we can get somewhere. I don't even know. Nope, actually... Actually, I think... Let's see, I think we have to get one more boulder down. No, actually, we've already been here, so let's go right ahead and go to the other section towards the northeast. Yes, the east side right here. And, uh, well, let's go right here, right here, and uh, right here. And, yeah, we found the exit, so that's pretty much it, guys. I don't think I've missed anything else. Um, we've, alre we've already been to uh, Cinnabar Island, so I don't really need to te or teach you guys to get there. So stay tuned guys, in the next episode we will be going to Cinnabar Island and we will be battling for our 7th badge? Yes, we will be battling for our 7th badge right, right here. So thank you guys for watching, I'll see you guys in another, another episode. See you guys.